Uh, good morning. So uh, today we're going to start working on the Opus 15 backplate. And we're going to tune the plate to make it evenly uh, 198. That's what we want. So the center is pretty good. This is 198. Uh, however, goes up here, down there, a little bit lower, a little higher, back down. So we're going to start um, to see this pattern and the useful tools. And uh, what we've done is taken the Vigdorchik plate strips and we transferred it onto the smaller cutout. It fits down inside. And then we've um, transferred our lines across. Move this carefully. And then we've used a series of manila folder rulers. And I put a straight line on the side that's on the edge of the manila folder before we cut it out. And then uh, put it inside and used a, uh, a fine soft lead pencil to connect the dots. And again, the part that has the red circle, this is the transition line. So everything from the transition line to here connected to this bout will raise everything from this, uh, the center point line with the circle to this point will raise these strips and then the opposite's true. So from here to there we'll lower those strips and from here to there we'll lower these strips. So what we want to do then is take these in order. Um, when I remove the top, some of the wood transferred from the top uh, to the ribs. And this is all right as long as we're going to be careful we don't break these off because when you glue it back together, like this piece will transfer right back onto here. It'll all be back into one piece. So just be careful to not knock these off and not get yourself cut on them either. But our first strip, we're going to start down in the corner. Sounds pretty even. Now I've reversed the wood um, tap tone reference tool. See so useful tools. Make your own, calibrate it. The information's all there. And so this is a 198, which is what we want for the back plate. We go a little above, sounds a little above. Go a little below, sounds a little below. So, fortunately, this first strip is at 198, which is our goal. So, I've got the center of the plate and the first strip in tune. Now, the next strip up. This sounds like the low point. even lower here. All right. So this is low. It's lower than that. So that's actually about um, 193. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this entire tone strip and make it even. So this is the low point. So we're going to make it all 193. So there's a real high spot right there. So I'll start with the scraper trying to uh, preserve these delicate pieces on the side. I'm just going to tape them can help remind me to leave alone. All right. Okay, I'll we'll just, this is a low spot again.
So to start working on these, are taking down the um, high areas. Again, um, this is we don't want to uh, change anything over the line here because that's in tune. So we're just looking. To Back with our scraper. You can see we're just not removing much material. Let's keep working on it until we get it even. It's okay if we go over the line in this direction because uh, we haven't tuned those areas yet. Right in here there's a bit of high area. Working on a little time, bringing down these high areas so you get an even tone. A little bit higher there. And So it looks like it's uh, 180. We're going to be here. Okay, now from this line to the circle line, which is the dotted line on the pattern, connected to the center belt. That's to raise. We want to raise this, so we're going to take um, material from about this outer three quarter inch, and that'll raise the a uh, whole strip. We'll just go. Okay, you just have to get comfortable with your uh, scraper. So. Scraping on that outer about three quarters of an inch to do it evenly. Sounds like this side's a little higher than that, so we need to scrape in this bottom area a little more. Okay. All right. Now let's see where we're at now. Okay, so we're about uh, 193. So it's still a little bit low. Just go back and do the same area again. Just working on that last about uh, three quarters of an inch. above the target, a little below the target. So it sounds like this uh, second strip is now 198. 
Okay, now the third strip, I'm going to put a little piece of tape here just to spot it for us. Maybe so you don't start scraping in the wrong area. Okay, so one, two, three. Let's see what the third strip is going to be. Just the gentlest taps really all that's necessary. So it sounds like low here. So it sounds like it's lowest along the bottom. And I'm going to restore these pencil lines so I can see them. So we don't want to cross over those lines. Alright, so the low part here. Again, we're down about um, 182. That's the lowest part. Highest here, and then it's high here, and they're working down. So, all right, let's do the scraping. Here. Labels I can replace. Besides, it's my label. You know, when you glue a label in, you're actually adding a little wood strip, and that's actually going to change the frequency of the wood. So, um, in my most recent violins, this was done originally in 2003, I stopped using labels and I just use a good uh, permanent ink, uh, modern gel type ink, uses Uniball, and just write. The information on, and I still use a little stamp that's got my uh, initials and so on in a rather very generic fashion. Take that label off there. All right, so I'll see where we're at. Because this is the low part. So we're just going to match everything to the low part. Okay. Okay, near the center line joint there's an area that's a bit high. Yeah, it's recording on the pad here. Staying away from the part we've tuned. Again, we're listening for the bass part of the tone rather than the overtones. Just tap the very gentlest tap. Now it's starting to sound pretty even. You hear it's lower than our goal frequency. So we're down again about 184. Uh, so to raise it from this area to the dotted line, which is a circle, it's connected to the center bow. That's for raising. So this is our strip. We're going to go at about three quarters of an inch. You can do it this way too if you want. If the pencil line is remove it, you'll be able to see that you've done something. I'll try to scrape that evenly. Both, if it's, we've scraped this evenly, then these will remain uh, matched up. So it's, uh, strips even all the way across. A little low, a slightly low. 
slightly high. So now we're up to about uh, 194. We're looking for 198. So scrape the base again here. Can you see how we're doing? So that's goal 198. We'll go a little above. Sounds a little above. A little below. Sounds a little below. So we have the first three strips tuned. Now we'll check it on the other side. So just it means across this back end here. That's a little below. It's a little above. So we're right at 198. So we've got a long ways to go, but that's the first strip. One, two, three. Now they're all even. We're right at our goal frequency. Okay, we'll stop there.